Hello there guys, the yeah, so Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in Brute Force. An hilarious Morocco Freedom Eagles Per Hour type game, developed by Free Lives, published by Devolver Digital, and is usually available for £12.49 slash $14.99, but is included with Xbox and PC Game Pass. And so, just like my last Game Pass video, Quake 2, this is, I'm afraid, another PC GP vid, where we can get all achievements done from around 15 to 20 hours to around 2 to 3, maybe 4. And there's actually a reason for that. So with PC, we can basically skip all the levels and use Level Editor for almost all the miscellaneous achievements. But the No Ticket achievement for throwing an enemy off the Sky Fortress boss as Indy Jones doesn't unlock on PC at the minute, and as much as I tried, there was no way to do it in level editor. Um, so you'll effectively have to play all the way to level 8 on the Xbox Legit, do Mission 8, and uh, beat the fortress on stage 4. By the way, big shout out to Chivo God, who did message me to let me know about these cheats, so thank you. But I've made this guide as easy as possible, where you don't have to play as much, which is nice. So, what we're going to do first then, let's do it by the way. When we get to the main menu, don't plug your uh, Xbox controller into the PC yet. Make sure to put in these cheats on the on your keyboard, Alaskan Pipeline, Seagull, and Abraham Lincoln. It'll effectively let us uh, skip a whole bunch of levels. Um, then you can plug your Xbox controller in once you've popped the three in. Then we're going to go to... So basically, we have to play through the game effectively twice. So we'll need to go to main menu. Um, so go to main menu. Go normal and make sure that you've put hard mode on. So make sure that you've put hard mode on um, because the Iron Bro campaign doesn't unlock until you finish the campaign at least once. I have noticed other guides haven't exactly told you that. So yes, you'll have to play through it normal once. So once you've got the cheats in and you know when the cheats are in because there's like a little chime. So once you've um, put it in, um, yeah, pop the cheats in, you'll get a little um, chime. You can press the A button on your controller to skip, and then press the Kotoral and F11 button in order to skip all the levels. So you'll have to fly over to the next level. Sorry that that bit was a little bit uh, quick, quick right there. Um, but so we'll, that's what we're all, all we're effectively going to do. We're going to go to each level. There's 15 levels all in all, so we're going to skip the intro. And again, you're going to press Kotoral and F11, or Control and F11. Um, it, hopefully it should be the same on the majority of keyboards, um, that's, I assume it would just be the same on all keyboards, but, um, yeah, hopefully it's the same for you too. But again, that is what we are going to do for the first 15 levels, as I said, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of easy to get used to. I mean, the game genuinely, on its own, is legit a lot of fun, even if you're not the best at running gun, running gun games like me. It is actually quite a lot of fun, but if you're as busy as I am, and you're busy, and you got kids, and you got stuff all over you, bleh, um, yeah, you're probably going to want to do this just to get the at least 975 out of a thousand done. Uh, so we've basically again, I've just edited it down. So we're on to level 15 now, the Doom Portal of Hurl. We're back into Quake Seven now. This is the seventh. This is the seventh Quake game. Nah, it's actually not. Uh, but what we will do then, um, we will, again, skip the level, and then just to the right of us is the White House. Uh, so we're going to go to that level zero, effectively. And all we're going to do then is just walk to the right, and that will basically get us two achievements. So providing you've done this first um, set on hard, again, if not, we got to play, we got to do this again on Iron Bro mode anyway. Um, but it'll basically get us the first couple of achievements here. By the way, uh, what I forgot to mention was the the other two um, cheats that we put in earlier on was basically to unlock all bros, all the rare bros, um, because normally you'd have to go through a level and save them, and that's how you'd get more lives through a level, etc. But we're not doing that. So we've already got all bros, which will come in handy because uh, for all the achievements that we're going to do. So this is the American way. Just head out to the right. And sort of Jesus Christ is there with guns that only everyone could be proud of. And it's freedom time in America. Get the buffet barbecue going. Yeah. This genuinely feels like a game um, Matt Stone and uh, Trey Parker would do from South Park. Uh, but anyway, once we've done that, then we can again click start. We can go now. We can go down to Iron Bro mode. Um, you can choose over that one, whichever one. Again, make sure to... If you've already got the achievement for completing the campaign at least once on hard, you don't need to do it this time. 
um, but I've just done it on hard twice just in case. So again, you will have to go through the same, uh, all the same levels again. So exactly what we just done. So go flying over to level one here on the right, and you've got the general with the beefiest, beefiest body and the tiniest head you'll ever see. Uh, but that's uh, that's what steroids do. That's what I want to look like. I've already got the small head, but I've got a small body, but not with the. Yeah, I need muscles, not fat. Anyway. So again, we're just going to keep doing the same thing. Remember, it's Katural and F11 then. We're basically now just going to skip all the way to level 15. Yes, all the way. And again, doing this uh, would take around 20 minutes or so. Here we go, we've just beat Satan in balls. Now we're cool as hell. America. Oh, wait, no, sorry, I still haven't. Um, so we're just about to kick Satan in his balls. And then we've got a, a lot of miscellaneous achievements to do. Now, um, again, I believe, I believe I found the easiest way that we can do this. So, again, once we've just done this, uh, go... Obviously, level zero, and then head all the way to the right. This will get you the Iron Bro mode achievement. Now, again, I do believe that I have found the easiest way. So, yes, you do. You have a look at other guides and, you know, just to see what's going on. Um, and a couple of them uh, tell you to sort of play through the first level for these miscellaneous. So, basically, what we have to do is become a certain bro. Uh, and then we have to uh, kill an enemy with a certain way, with a certain enemy, uh, with a certain you know, bro, etc. But instead of just doing it through the first level and then having to constantly restart the level, um, for the majority, as I said, we are going to do this in level editor mode. This just makes it 20 billion times easier and a little bit faster. Uh, so there's Satan Bowles. He's, uh, well, he did now. So, it is time now to, once we are back onto the main menu, we are going to head down so again, this is only available again on PC, the level editor mode. If you're playing on Xbox, again, you'll have to do this as legit as you can, and you have to save all the bros, etc. Um, yes, so, once we are good to go, we will now head down to a level editor. So the first one we are going to do, or the first thing we've got, I'll tell you how to start it up. So, this is the level editor mode. What you're going to do is click new in the top right-hand corner. Um, and then you can leave it as the jungle, you can leave it as day, that's fine, but you do have to put uh, a new campaign and auth mode, so I'm going to call us Nert Cirque, for no particular reason. Nert Cirque. Yeah, looks good, man, looks good. So, the first one we're going to go for then is uh, basically MacGyver, and he's got turkeys as his special weapon. So, head to Doodads right at the top, so just go to Doodads, and then you're going to scroll down, and then what we're going to find is mooks, which are basically the enemy. So, get mooks, and then what you can do is, you don't press play yet, because we haven't put the mooks down. Uh, so, what you need to do is obviously um, click them, obviously left click on the mouse, um, just, you can zoom out there by using the little wheelie dealy on the mouse or whatever. Um, so for this first achievement anyway, we are going to need, um, uh, 10 terrorists. So we're going to need at least 10 mooks. I just went absolutely nuts because the achievement for the Last Supper is killing 10 terrorists with a single turkey bomb. And again, there's only one particular one that you need. So keep pressing the F3 button to play. And then if you don't have MacGyver, and again, if you have a look in the bottom left-hand corner, it'll say the enemy and it'll say what um, special sort of weapon they have. Um, so obviously the ones we are looking for is this guy right here. Uh, no, that's Kill Bill. No, not Kill Bro Brill. Um, this guy, MacGyver with the chicken turkey. So if you press the B button, uh, that will get off the turkey bomb. Press the, I believe, the X button. And that will set it off. Because you've got more than 10, the achievement will unlock nice and sleazily. So, again, if you're sort of unsure of the um, what bro and what they sort of look like, um, again, just how I'll tell you exactly, um, I'll tell you what 
uh, weapon is needed. So the next one we go for then is your your fired. So we're going to go into terrain now in the top left hand corner. Put a couple of propane barrels down. Put a mook on top. So put one of your enemies on top, and then we can jump down. Press the A button or the the X button to hit the propane tanks. That will fly a couple of these enemies up in the air, and that is how you will get the your fire achievement. All right, Alan Sugar, Dootberg. So once that's done, then we're going to go back to Doodads, and we're actually going to go back down to Mooks. We are going to get now the Hot Brotato achievement. Now, as you can see, um, we've got a couple of these Mookie Bookies. Oh, in fact, no, sorry, we're not doing that one yet. We're getting sh uh, shaken, not stirred. So chuck another couple of Mooks down. Obviously, I've edited, uh, edited out. I've tried to make it, again, as easy as possible. So chuck as many Mooks down as you can. This time, we are looking for the James Bond character. Now, his special weapons have a whole bunch of stuff, but it's basically got a martini glass on the end. Um, so, again, just keep pressing the F3 button to go into edit, and then out. Here is James Bond. All you got to do, once you've got enough Mooks, press the B button. That'll smash the uh, his first martini glass down, and that will get you the shaken not stirred. Excuse me, the shaken not stirred. So next up, we are going for Hot Brotato. So this time we're going to go to Doodads again. And we're going to go to Mooks again. Now, as you can see, if you click the number one, you can see then that there are a lot of numbers. So there's basically all of the different enemies in the game. So if you click on number seven, they, this is what the Grenada terrorist looks like. So what you need to do is jump down. I'm going to show you how to do it the wrong way first. Um, so what you need to do is basically... When you are basically on top of the bomb, you need to press the Y button to pick it up and th and uh, throw it in the direction of the Grenadier. Um, so me trying to press the X button there to hit it doesn't work. You've got to press the Y button, which is the melee button. So we will show you right now. So you can't, you've got to be on top of the grenade, hold the Y button in order to throw it. It doesn't work if you're uh, either side of it because you'll just try and stab it for some reason. So once uh, the, um, there we go, so once the do is done, now I believe the only way the the achievement unlocks there is if the um, the grenade terrorist gets uh, completely blown up to pieces by his own bomb. I don't think it works if you just chuck it at him. You've actually got to blow him, <laughs> blow him, sorry, uh, blow him up dead. So on to a new bit of editing. So what we're going to do, click terrain and then click the right uh, click on the, the right clicker on the mouse. We're basically going to do a little bit of setting up now um, So we will uh, Again zoom out. We basically need to make a little pit. So basically there's five left that we're gonna do now So you basically have to have Arnie as Terminator falling down. So once you've made enough of a pit Again, it's always worth uh, I'll, I will double check here just to make sure that we died. So that's good. That's what we want We want death sort of Right, let's get a couple of enemies out here, Rap Meow. Uh, you don't need lava, you don't need moat, you just need... Um, pit of death. Yeah, anyway. So we're going to go down to um, Mooks again. We're going to put, you know, a, a couple of them down. You don't have to put as many as I do down here. But we're going to get enough down just so that we can be doubly sure. Uh, apparently I'm putting 20 down for some particular reason. And what we're also going to do, we're going to now click on pure evil right there. And then we are going to put, it's basically Satan in a suit. And he looks damn good in a suit. Now, he's not going to attack us. All his uh, attack does is um, he basically laughs at us. So that's all he does. So you don't have to worry about Satan on the top. <laughs> so, first thing we're going to go for first, first thing we're going to go for first is the I must be on Broadway. So uh, this is basically Time Cop who has two clocks. So what you need to do is press the B button and then hit any of the enemies three times with the Y button. So you basically have to kick an enemy in slow motion um, three times. So I sort of had enough moots there. So that should have unlocked. Um, again, if it didn't, maybe just put one mook down uh, or one enemy down or maybe just even do it to Satan. That'll work fine. So that'll get you the I must be on Broadway achievement. Next up, again, keep going until we see the Dominator here. We're going to press the B button, and he is going to do the Dominator. And then we'll just drop drop straight down to our untimely death. We'll get the thumbs up, and then we will get the I'll be Mark achievement. Next up, we are as Commando. It's basically Arnie with three green stripes. What you need to do is 
uh, grab again Satan with the Y button. He will fall off the pit, die, and that should get you the achievement. If it doesn't, um, you can just play the first level and you'll have to throw him off a roof, but I'm sure that will be fine. It does say as long as you throw him off a cliff, that should be fine. So again, I do apologize, I'm going a little bit quickly here. Um, so that is the, you know how I said to kill you last. Next up, we go into Kill Bill. Press the B button next to Satan to literally explode him into pieces. And that will get you the rest in pieces achievement. And then you can just smash up the rest. Again, I do apologize if I am going quite quick. Um, I didn't mean to, it's just, it's just how, because it, obviously when we're playing, by the way, what I forgot to mention is, um, it all comes up randomly, so you you literally just got to keep going and keep going until the character that you particularly need um, will come up, because it all it is all just random. So again, it, only, it doesn't take more than you know more than thirty to forty seconds to find who you're looking for, um, but still can be a pain in the ass when it is just one that you are looking for. So now we are basically. Uh, we should have already 11, um, 11 achievements done, so all we're looking for now is Blade, and Blade has so three swords. So there we go, three three swords. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump down, you basically have to press the X button to deflect one of the bullets away from an enemy. So just jump all the way to the right, and then just keep spamming the X button, and that should at least deflect one of the bullets, kill one of the enemies, and that should get you the Your eyes can't see if you achievement. Especially in that singing voice. You're right, good to see you. Right, so uh, woo, we're getting through this now, aren't we? So we should now be on 12 out of 15 achievements. So again, the no ticket achievement, as I said, doesn't unlock on PC. It unlocks on the Steam version of the, um, the PC, but not through the PC Game Pass. So that's why uh, it's probably easier just to go through there. Uh, just to actually play it legit if you want that no ticket achievement. But for now, we've got two little miscellaneous achievements that we're going to do. So we're going to uh, either start a new campaign, continue, whatever. It doesn't matter because what we need to do is uh, we'll just join up here. Whoa. Man, it's so manly. I can feel my testicles get a bigger play in this game. So basically on this main map right here, all there is is a whole bunch of seagulls. And um, your job is to kill them all. So, yeah. So they can go with it. Somehow seagulls can outfly a helicopter until they run out of stamina. Uh, stamina. Uh, but that's all you're going to be doing then for about a minute or two is just flying around the map, killing the seagulls until the I did not want to resort to violence achievement unlocks. So once that has unlocked, then what we can do is actually just press start. We can go back to the main menu. So what we're going to do now is here we are on the main menu. We will go down to options. Then we'll go down to um, where we go in setup keyboard. No, uh, yeah, configure controls. So what we effectively need to do now is, well, set up the keyboard so we can add some players in. Uh, so again, make sure then that you put it what you think is going to be easier, and I'll show you what I mean now. So we'll uh, click on Setup Keyboard 1. So basically the only two that we're going to change are Fire and <whistles> Gesture. So Fire and Gesture. So we'll head down, press the Enter button when you get to Fire, and then just choose whichever um, button that you think is going to be easier. So again, I just basically go for Z, and then go down again, and then there's Gesture. So again, press the Enter button, and then press Key will come up. I put it then to X. So or, so basically, you're just making it easy for yourself. So put it uh, right next to each other or whatever. So then just do the same on uh, on number two. So press enter on fire. And then this time I put C. So I'm basically going for the bottom row. So I'm going for Z, C, and B uh, for the fire. And then X, V, and N for the uh, gesture. 
So it's basically what you need to do then, or what you need to remember, is what buttons that you've pressed as fire, because you need to get into the game as quick as you can, because we need all four players on the screen. So we only need to set up three keyboards, because of course we've got the controller. We've got the power! Because we're brought force! Oh yeah! Right, so once we start, remember what your fire... Or your, yeah, your fire ones are. So as soon as you press the X button on the control, press the other one. So for me, it was Z, C, and B. All four are in. And then what you need to do then, it's right bumper on the controller to uh, make a gesture. And then whichever keys that you've put in on the keyboard. So for me, it's going to be X, V, and N. But it, again, depends on whichever one you've done to make it uh, a lot easier for you. So once we're in, again, right bumper on the controller, whatever keys that you've put, and everyone's going into pure, ugh, pure trend mode. It's trend baloney sandwich time, dogs. And there we go. So that's how you get that one. Next up, again, um, now I'm not going to be showing you the whole of Mission 8, but basically, again, because it is not working on PC uh, at the minute, it's not, un uh, it's not unlocking. I, again, I tried to find for ages and ages i tried to see if i could put it on level editor the sky fortress but there was just no way to do it so what you have to do is again if you're going to play it legit on xbox you have to play all the way to level eight this is the end of level eight and this is how you get this make sure you are indiana brones here this is by the way i, I give a credit here to lois's and then what you need to do is jump up onto the sky fortress once, uh, one an, once an enemy pops out, just throw him off with the uh, holding the Y button, and that is what will get you the achievement. So, there we go then, guys and girls. So, that is Pro Force for here. Um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoy the game as well, whether you do it legit or whether you do it the PC Game Pass cheeky cheeky cheating way. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. I, if it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well. A uh, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. So thank you so, so much. And I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.